Hello everyone. Today I made this quilted Christmas ornament. This one is going to be different because for this ornament I use a styrofoam in the shape of a disc and this fabric and satin ribbon in the color black and this is the measurement of the ribbon and also this fabric squares that I cut two and a half inches by two and a half inches and some pins. First what I did is I took this fabric and I cut a snowflake, you're going to see here and all I did is I placed that snowflake right in the center, you see the little blue dot, right in the center of the styrofoam disc. Then I took the black ribbon and I think I cut it one and a half inch and I folded like a rectangle and I put the black ribbon uh, all around the snowflake like to make a frame. What I did with the black ribbon is I made a frame to the snowflake. Now I took the two and a half inch by two and a half inch fabric squares. I folded in triangle to mark the center. You, you've seen this before on my other videos. And all I did is I put those triangles on every corner of the little square I did to frame out the snowflake, the one that I did with the black ribbon. Now I took the fabric, the two and a half inch um, by two and a half inch squares of fabric and instead of folding them in triangles, I folded in rectangle and I put them um, just below the black ribbon. What I'm going to do is pretty much as the same, the first step that I did the, with the black ribbon, I'm going to make another square with the rectangles of the cream fabric. Now I'm going to take the black satin ribbon and I'm going to burn the edges and I'm going to also do a rectangle. Working with ribbon, the ornament looks prettier. It gives it a more glam finish, I would say, but it's a little bit tricky and it takes a little bit more time because you have to burn all the edges so it won't fringe. So here what I'm doing is I'm putting the black rectangles just below the cream fabric rectangles. Now I'm going to take the black satin ribbon and I'm going to make triangles and I'm going to use gold push pins and I'm going to put them right on the top point of the triangle to hold the triangle in place and at the same time it's going to embellish the ornament. You see that the black triangles I'm putting them right on top of the fabric cream triangles that I put on the second row. Now I'm going to take the fabric, the cream fabric, and I'm going to fold it as a triangle and put it right on top of the black 
ribbon triangles and then I'm going to pin it to the size of the styrofoam disc and this is pretty much how it looks. Now we are going to do the same thing on the other side as we usually do with the other ornaments. I cut another snowflake, I'm going to pin it right in the center. Then you're going to see later on that that pin that I used to hold that fabric right in the center, I'm going to remove it to, and I'm going to put um, a pin with a bead cap. mentioned before here I'm using a bead cap and a gold push pin and I'm going to put that right in the center where that pin it is holding the fabric snowflake and then I'm going to keep putting some more push pins gold push pins to embellish the ornament I'm going to use this ruffle black ribbon and I'm going to put it right on the sides of the disc. Um, that way it will hold the pins on the sides and also embellish the ornament. Now I'm going to take ribbons in the colors black, cream, and gold and I cut 5 inches of strips. I cut 5 of each color and this is what I'm going to use to make the bow that goes on top of the ornament and at the same time one of the strips is going to be used to hang the ornament on the Christmas tree. And here's the bow that I made with the three um, ribbons and I'm going to pin it right on top. That is going to embellish the ornament and at the same time it's going to be used to hand the ornament on the Christmas tree. 
What I'm doing here is I'm putting some gold push pins on the sides and the bottom of the ornament because those push pins are going to hold the, the black and gold ribbon in place. And I found some stickers, some bead stickers. I don't know how you call them. And I put one right on top of that pin in the color black. That way it will hide the, the pin. And here's the ornament all completed. Well guys, hope you liked this video. Remember to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Merry Christmas everyone.